Hey guys, Tennessee Yankee. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Hey, today I'm going to show you guys a cover I got for my compact tractor. So I'm just starting to make some videos of my LX2610 and I recently got it, uh, picked it up and I don't yet have a pole barn or a place to store it uh, covered, but I wanted to keep it out of the sun and out of the elements. So I was in search of a high quality cover and I found one. Uh, I'm going to show it to you guys today. I got it from Silver Lake Fabrication. They're in New Hampshire and they make a line of tractor covers and this is kind of their secondary business. They make like miniature pontoons, uh, but they have these high quality tractor covers and I'll show this to you today. I've been pretty impressed with it. I've had it for a few weeks. Um, it's very heavy duty. A few details on it before I show it to you. I guess it's made of a 22 ounce uh, super duty vinyl. And that's the same material that'd be used on like a tractor trailer cover uh, that can withstand up to 80 mile an hour winds. And the guy uh, that makes it, he just loads it up with D-rings. Um, so this has a tremendous amount of tie down points. Um, and then he also has some options for custom sizes or if you need like a vertical exhaust, you can have that option. But I just went with the standard off the shelf uh, medium size. And I actually called him, uh, told him I had the LX2610. I think he thought I had the L series, which is a little bigger. And he had suggested I, that I go with the large size. Uh, I ended up waiting till I got the tractor, took some measurements, and the medium size was actually what I needed. Um, and it fits per just perfect, as you'll see. But uh, the medium size is 120 inches wide by 168 inches long, so it's 10 by 14. Um, the only difference between that and the large is the large, let's see, I wrote it down here. So the difference between the large and the small is it's 216 inches versus 168. So, I mean, I could have got by with that. It would have completely covered the bucket, completely covered the, the whole back end, but I don't, I don't want that much cover material. Um, and it's already you know, a heavy cover to begin with. So you'll see that when I show it to you, you may decide, you know, for this tractor, you would want the large, but I think the medium is just the perfect size for the LX2610. So let's get after this, show you the cover, and hopefully this will be helpful to you. All right, guys, so here it is. Um, as you can see, this is about where it goes to on my front bucket. I think this would actually hang over the front if I wanted it to here. So, I mean, obviously I don't need to cover up the bucket completely, but what I did here in the front is I used these awesome bungees um, that you've seen in a lot of my videos. I'll put a link to those in the description if you want to get some of those. Uh, I just use those through the D-rings, and that way I keep the, the hooks of of any of the the bungees away from this you know if this is moving around i don't want the hook poking through there so those work out good to keep the hooks away and then i just hooked right into the bucket with this um, so that's the only way i'm tying it down in the front and again it's the thing is so heavy duty uh and so heavy it just lays on the tractor really nice um so the only other spot i'm tying it down is back here in the back I have my trailer mover so I just ran some bungees through there again and I just hooked that around my trailer mover and then I did put one around each of the ROPs using a D-ring right here and here and then I think I don't know that this would be necessary but I just took this is one of the first things I did is I just grabbed some of these and just hooked some of these areas together So here in the back, you can see what he does is he makes a slit for the ROPs and then he has this fold over cover. So let me undo this. Okay, so in the back here, I got it all undone with my straps. And then what he does here, fold this over for you so you can see the seat kind of pops through here. It's got a slit for the ROPs. All the slit is completely reinforced all the way around. And then he comes up with this flip over cover, which is nice because then we can take this and completely cover up the seat.
and then you saw the way I had it fastened around here. But that gives you, you know, very good coverage. So here was the, the loader handle. Um, I guess one of my concerns that I'm going to have to figure out, this isn't any of uh, his problem. So right here in the front, this is where the grill guard is, and you can see it kind of where it kind of lays on there. I would think this could be maybe a, a potential wear point. Uh, I might want to just stick some kind of reinforcement underneath there, like a, a foam pad or something. Without that grill guard, all the other edges are pretty soft, so it kind of just rolls over. But this one here may be a, an issue. So I may just stick, like I said, a, a foam pad under here or something to help it kind of roll over. You can see it kind of it creases pretty good there, but pretty heavy duty. And again, I don't think I'd, I'm probably going to use any of these D-rings. Uh, I don't think I need it. Um, but time will tell. What I thought about doing originally is I don't, I'm too lazy to run a strap, you know, all the way underneath here and hook it to something. I thought about making just a few J hook, get a few J hooks, and then make like a little PVC cement weight that would put a J hook in there and just kind of hang it in a few spots but i don't even think i'm going to need to do that but that'd be an idea for you so yeah overall um so far i'm happy with this cover you know pole barn's the ultimate solution but for right now this should work for me just one more angle from this side so you know medium tractor cover lx 2610 i think it's a good fit like I said, if you went with the large, you'd be completely covering the bucket, but I don't, I don't see the, the necessity in that. It's even got good, uh, I have it on there pretty even right now. Covers most of the tire anyway. First time taking the cover off here, I'll see how easy it is to get on and off. Seems like the easiest way to take it off. Obviously easy to tell the outside from the inside because all the D-rings are on the outside. Hey guys, Tennessee Yankee. Thanks for watching. If you found this content helpful, go ahead and hit that subscribe button on your right. I have other content linked for you on the left side. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Thanks again for watching.